Hi guys. Well, it's with great sadness that I'm here to tell you that my M103 has died. My favorite wheel that I've been just having a blast with over the last couple months. I have about 175 miles on it. And yesterday, when I was going through a, a turnstile at work, uh, it got wedged just briefly, like for a second or two, maybe. It got wedged a little between, um, you know, as you're trying to go through this turnstile, it hit one of the bars and, just, you know, just stopped for momentarily. And and, uh, and then I was in the process of kind of wiggling it to, so I could continue and it just stopped, beeped and uh, turned off. I kind of assumed that maybe I maybe leaned it over too much and it, that's why. But no, nope. when I got through the turnstile, I, uh, nothing, can't turn it on. So I imagine that one of the MOSFETs, one or more of the MOSFETs blew because of the current surge. So I guess I was, I was trying to drive it forward and it was, it was uh, locked in position. So it tried to move as much as it could until it blew a fuse. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a fuse. So I'm going to open this up and uh, show you what I find. Looks like the MOSFETs are on the other side. Hmm. This is a tight fit for sure.
sure hope I can get this thing back together. <laughs> Fairly dirty inside. Definitely, definitely dirt gets um, gets into the control board area, though mostly down near the wheel. Looks like it's pretty clean up near the control board. Well, there's absolutely nothing obvious about what could be wrong. And from my other pictures and from my personal experience, I've seen cracked MOSFETs here, but there's a, a set of six below here I can't see. Well, this is interesting. So I've taken off all the screws that I can see. The control board still doesn't come off. So it actually looks like I have to um, take, kind of disassemble the MOSFET um, mounting. So I'm, I'm kind of assuming if I get a new control board <laughs> that the control board actually includes this whole module, the fans and everything. This is definitely not as easy to work on as the other Gatway wheels. I guess a uh, small size comes at a cost. Okay, I've, I've, uh, I mean, I don't like doing this, but this board is toast anyway. I, I, I'm just, uh, pr pray to God when I get a new one, it, it actually does include this whole module. It has to. So I have to bend up this, the leads. So I'm bending the, uh, well, so now I, I'm going to do, uh, undo all these, uh, the six screws. For these MOSFETs. Yep, that's it. Still looking, I'm looking for damage to these MOSFETs. I'm just, uh, I'm not seeing anything. I have to check the form, see if uh, people have had experience with blown MOSFETs that show no signs of actual damage. But uh, yeah, definitely interesting. Two fans, DC brushless fan, five volt, 150 milliamps each. And uh, yeah, so this is a whole sub-assembly. Interesting, oh well. I guess I was kind of hoping to see a exploded MOSFET, but um, no luck. All right, guys, nothing exciting to see here, but maybe it was a little interesting to see the internals. I definitely find it interesting that you really don't, um, this is, comes as a whole module, fans and everything. But um, yeah, so I'll post this and uh, maybe you guys, some of you guys can chime in if you have experience about uh, Blown moss, so it's actually show no signs of damage. Time to get a new control board anyway. Talk to you guys later.